Hello folks, this is Craig Lane with Health Alchemy YouTube channel. Herbal tidbits. We're going to talk about yarrow. Yarrow is such an important herb. It's a virtual pharmacy and it's actually called All Heal. It's a virtual pharmacy of phytochemicals. I cannot state. If you look it up in Dr. Dukes or any other websites that show the um, phytochemicals, this one has a little bit of everything in it. Like there's a little plant chemicals from every single plant in the world seemingly in this plant. So this is what it's done after it's, um, this is the next year's growth basically. And it's really easy to dig up. You could dig up any one of these little ones and I'll show you later what, it's very easy to pot. You can put it in a pot, like see that one right there. You could dig that little guy out and then put it in a pot. So it, it multiplies by runners and I believe by seed. So it's, oh, it's another one of those plants, heavy ground cover and an excellent wound wart. We talked about self heal in the last video. And here we are with yarrow. So the root, the leaf, the stem, the flower, it's all usable. But I use the white, the native white yarrow. I do not use the cultivated orange, purple, reds, whatever colors they come in. Those typically don't smell as strong and they don't have as good a medicine, I was told, so I never bothered with them. When I have seen them around town, I've smelled them and they don't seem to work all that good. So this plant's somewhat of an adaptogen, and I'm going to take us over to a couple other ones growing in my garden. I have multiple diversifications of it. What it tends to do is what you see here. This is what it's done to seed out. So this, these seed heads here could potentially drop. I'm not sure how viable those seeds are, so I don't typically use them, but you could collect the seeds there. And then here's the next year's growth down under there. So you see that's what it does. So mainly the flower is used and you tincture it up. There's a good sample of the flower right there. Beautiful yarrow flower. So, some of its names, woundwort, carpenter's herb, bloodwort, arrowroot, military herb, all heal. That's what our ancestors used to call this thing. Here's another variety of it right here. And you can really see, see here's where it's gone. Du -du 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 and then I've chopped a lot of the heads off. You can see one right here that I left intact. But then you can see where it, da, 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 da. sound effects not included. So that the cardoon kind of died into it. So we got to clear off some of this. Uh, I guess that's why I should be weeding a little bit. And uh, so yeah, you can see sort of next year's growth here. See all this stuff here. Oh, I just pulled some out by accident. So pretty hardy herb. You don't have to worry about, uh, really it's it's pretty tough so you don't have to worry about being gentle with it so there's next year's growth in there see so this plant um i think of it as it's sort of warming there's another sh couple of shots of it over here so i'm going to go all the way over to the potted area now so i think of it as warming and kind of spicy um but Energetically, it's considered neutral in some of the texts. Um, it's a sacred herb accompanying the dead on their journey, one of its aspects. Um, used sort of a spiritual ally. Uh, I've seen it used in... Um, I've seen it used in um, flower essence blends. So here's the one that probably got the least light, and you can see these are kind of a better looking specimen here. And there's one in a pot. So I wanted to show you all, see there's one in a pot there. And then another one in a pot over there through the Tulsi. So I just dug those up and I put these in a, I had about 10 of these and I put them in, a, in the ground, the ones that you saw earlier. Um, so it helps environmental adaptation to toxicity, hepatitis and toxic chemical damage. Really important plant flower essence wise and potentially tincture phytochemical wise for environmental toxicity can't state that enough. It is a uh, diaphoretic. So it brings uh, sweat and energy to the surface where our ancestors used it quite a bit for um, sweating out colds. So here's the list and check it out. Anti-inflammatory, antipyretic, so it helps with heat and fevers. Anti-rheumatic, so it's gonna help with um, joint pain. And when it says anti-rheumatic, that also means it's gonna help um, move along stagnant blood. Uh, antiseptic, antispasmodic, so you can also use it for spasms. 
uh, menstrual cramps, astringent, so it'll help with heavy bleeding, carminative, so it will help move along stuck digestive energy, uh, diaphoretic, so there you go, it brings energy to the surface. And what's weird is when you see a plant that's astringent and diaphoretic, uh, rosemary's that way too, so you could sweat, uh, sage is that way, you could sweat, but you could also um, use it for an astringent quality. It's a digestive, it's an expectorant, so it'll help you cough out poisons. Hemostatic, so it helps you move stagnant blood. Hypotensive, it'll help with blood pressure. It's good for ulcers, so a stomach ick. And a tonic for circulation. Uh, the Druids and the Chinese used yarrow for divination and oracle use. They would use the stems, the I Ching in China. I'm not sure what the Druids did. Um, so one use you would use it for emotionally is for the melancholy, troubled emotions, and unhealthy sorrow and chronic depression. So a very good herb for today's world. Um, it's high in flavanols, so it's flavonoids, so it's also going to be good for um, urinary tract infections and urinary tract stones, like kidney stones. Good for colds, measles, cramps, hyperacidity, gas, diarrhea, anorexia, hemorrhoids, mens menstrual troubles, and uh, measles and other eruptive diseases. So I could go on and on and on, but we're now at the six minute point. I like to keep these under five. This is, folks, this is a plant that one of my teachers, Christopher Hobbs, said if he was asked years ago, this is a quote from 96, so don't hold him to it if you know him. He was asked, if you could only grow one herb for almost anything, what herb would that be? Guess what he chose? Yarrow. So uh, that should tell you something when you see a man with that kind of herbal breadth of knowledge. Um, <clears throat> my personal one would probably be comfrey, but for other reasons. Um, but yarrow's a great herb. You might even um, think of using it just for that melancholy use, you know, to pick up your mood. So Craig Lane with Health Alchemy YouTube channel here. Um, hoping you're enjoying yarrow and all it has to bring, whether it's the flower, the leaf, the stem, the root, it's all good with this plant. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Craig Lane, Herbal Tidbits.